What's up everybody? My name is Brittany and I'm the ADHD crafter and welcome to another video. So unfortunately for this particular video, I did mess up the audio and so now I have to do a voiceover and I can't remember what I said. Um, I do know that for this particular video, I am going to be uh, doing an Etsy order. I only have one this uh, week. My shop has been kind of slow, so I decided that the order that I have, which is for a full outfit, a tutu, and a shirt, I would go ahead and make um, a video showing you how I make my tutus. So this one is going to be three colors. Um, I use a cutting mat, scissors, a ruler, a rotary tool, um, I believe 18 inch elastic. I'm making a 2T um, and I also have a, um, a a ruler that runs the length of my table which I use as a guiding um, a guiding point for cutting my tool. Um, you can use any tools that you want. These are just the ones that I use um, and they help a lot. A lot of them are linked down in the description below if you're interested. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with the yellow. Um, so I'm going to be using three yards of each color to uh, for nine yards total for this 2T tutu. And then I'm going to be cutting it at 16 inches length for when I fold it in half and sew it. So first I'm going to go ahead and roll out all of my tool. So once I got it all cut, I'm going to uh, fold it up. Here you see where the tool is folded in half. We're going to leave it like that. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I like to keep the edge, uh, keep the fold on my tool. I love the fold. It helps me keep my um, tool straight and even. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep the folded edge to my right and I'm going to fold my tool back up like it came off of the bolt so that I can easily cut it to my length. So the raw edge on one side folded in on the other. Um, the reason why I like it on the right side of me is because it'll when I flip it uh, lengthwise, you know, I'll remember that my folded edge is going to hang off of my cutting mat so I don't cut that off because it does happen. I have, you know, turned it backwards and then, you know, Yay me, I cut off my fold. But I love the fold. You're going to hear me say that a lot throughout this video. Two, also make sure that you're keeping your tool as even as possible. Um, it'll make it, it'll keep your tool completely even. Uh, when you go to cut it, you won't have like, you know, a, a jagged edge. Um, I don't know how to explain it. But you won't have like, you won't be cutting your tool diagonally where it's shifting or like if your tool uh, decides to fold up on you like it was it came on the bolt like it wasn't rolled perfectly um, if you fold your tool tight carefully and even it makes it a lot easier to cut and you get even edges okay so just keep on rolling it up keep adjusting it making sure that that uh, folded edge um, is even because you remember you're going to keep that you don't want any uneven even this because then you're going to end up having to cut the fold off and then I just find that um, it's harder to keep the tool even so I'm just showing you here how I folded it up back on the bolt you see my raw edges that side's uneven uh, the side with my fold all, all of that's even and then I'm going to cut that uh, uneven raw edge off all right so this is where my um plastic ruler uh, comes in handy. I use that as um, a guide when I use my rotary tool to cut uh, my tool to length. Um, that just ensures that I'm not, um, I my hands shake a lot. So, you know, when I'm using that rotary tool, if I just wing it and not have anything, uh, making sure I'm cutting straight, my, my stuff is going to be all over the place. So, if you are like me and you cannot cut a straight line to save yourself, uh, no matter what, definitely use some type of ruler uh, to guide guide you. Oh yeah, and since this is a 2T tutu, um, I want my finished tutu to be 8 inches long with my ribbon attached. So I'm going to be cutting uh, my tutu down to 16. So remember, you cut it 
at 16 inches and when you go to fold it in half you will be left with eight inches which is eight inches long for your finished tutu all right so whatever whatever length your finished tutu needs to be you're gonna cut it double so if I needed a 12 inch tutu finished I would cut it at 24 inches if I needed a 5 inch uh, um, tutu I would cut it at 10 so and so forth you 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 get it you know you're gonna be cutting double your length because you're gonna be folding it in half all right so now that I've gotten my tutu or my tool cut to length I'm gonna go ahead and speed through and cut out the rest so we can get to the next part everything um, no it's not the best angle for everything but we're working with what we got here okay so I just got to change out my threads um, I was selling Halloween stuff uh, you could probably see what I made on TikTok But yeah, so I gotta change out my, my black thread for my white thread. Um, I'm gonna use white because honestly, it takes so long trying to color match. It's not, I mean, people aren't gonna be like, oh my God, she used white thread. So we don't have to worry about that. Like they're not gonna be looking at it with a magnifying glass. If they do, then they're just weird and that has nothing to do with me whatsoever. Alright, and then I do have my clips here in case I need them. And we'll go ahead and start with the blue. And we're just going to take it. This side is my folded edge. And this is my raw edge. Okay, we're just going to take it. and fold it in half it does not listen listen closely it does not matter if these two sides match up you just want to make sure that this side is crisp if this one is longer than this side who cares you can clip it okay just focus on the fact that this side is going to be like this and there's no gap in between that's that's what's important because again, this is gonna be covered up with ribbon. Nobody's gonna know that it's uneven. And you can trim it if you want to make, make sure that it's even. So I just need to make sure that all my things are straight and together or my stitch length and everything is like I like it. And 
so far everything is matched up um, and then again you remember you want a one inch elastic channel okay so here we go Okay, just make sure that you're flattening it out as you go. Making sure you're keeping this even. Again, don't worry about that raw edge. Just make sure that this is gonna turn out flat and straight and not be all puckered up. So I'm just smoothing out my wrinkles because so I am at the end, almost at the end of this piece. And if you can, I don't know if you can see it here, but there is a slight, these, the, this, towards the end, this is uneven. Okay. And I'm okay with that because my channel, I'll show you when I'm done, is still all together. Don't try to pull it to make it over to make it even. Do not pull it. Unless it's a huge gap, try not to shift it as much as possible. All right, so let me go ahead. So here, I don't know if you can see this. My channel, there's, it's not shift. It hadn't shifted. It has not shifted. You know, and I got a flat edge. Okay. The, again, I said it in my last video, my last two two tutorial uh, tip video. The reason why I like to keep the folded edge is you, this is where you know the tool on the bolt is folded in half I don't have to fight with four edges from shifting okay this one this side is not gonna shift because it's folded it's so it's together it's one piece okay these sides these ones might shift I can easily manipulate two sides better than I can four. okay so I like it because it it keeps it lined up for the most part okay you see there's I mean you can barely see it but you know my edges are even I didn't have to shift them I didn't have to pull them I didn't have to manipulate it at all that's the reason why I like to keep the folded edge okay so this piece because I again I'm not doing double layer I'm not doing double layer uh, ribbon, so I'm not sewing ribbon on this side and on this side. I'm just gonna sew this down, okay? So I'm just gonna take it, get it set up under there. I got my ribbon. This is the one and a half inch God's Grain ribbon. R ribbon. And I just need my lighter so I can heat seal my ends. Don't tell me my lighter is missing. It's missing. Oh, here it is. All right. So, 
stick in. Just heat seal your ends. I like to pull mine because sometimes when you think you sealed it, you sealed part of it and it's still going to shred up. Okay? So we got that. We're going to pull a little bit off. And then we're just going to line that baby up with the edge. Okay? You can do it completely. I like to do mine completely over. And then if I need to trim any extra, I can trim any extra. Because I don't want this tutu to be any longer than it's supposed to be. It's supposed to measure eight in eight inches when when finished. If I cut it at 16, fold it in half, it's already eight. If I add a, a one and a half inch ribbon, now I got a nine and a half inch long tutu. So I don't like to do that. I like to just sew it to the edge, okay? All right, and then you're just gonna start sewing. Make sure you backstitch. Oops, my foot got stuck on the ribbon. Big ass feet. Now that we got all of our pieces, make sure you've clipped the, the excess thread. Now we get to move on to the fun part of putting the elastic in. Okay, so you have your elastic. This is 18 inches of three quarter inch elastic. You do need one of these bad boys for the end. So we're just gonna put that in here like this so that the tool doesn't come off. And then this magical doohickey doodad thing. This thing is amazing. Okay, I love this thing. I probably should get another one because I do lose it often. But all you do is it comes like this, okay? You flip, the, flip up this little white piece, stick the end of your elastic in the green piece, and snap it close. Nom, nom, nom. Jaws of life. And then you take your tool, and you just feed it through, like so. Make sure you get both layers. Okay, and you just feed it through. Look how, look it. Get it on there. Okay, and you just go. All right, you just go. Just go. Don't be rough though, like me, because you might. You can possibly poke a hole in your tool and then you're going to be mad. And don't say it was my fault because I didn't tell you to be rough like me. I did not say any of that. Okay. Let's go ahead. And feed it through. And make sure to um, that you're making sure your tool all faces the right way. Okay. So you want to arm your ribbon. So when you put it on here, like, so I'm putting mine backwards. So the, where I sold my tool, that side is facing me. I mean, it doesn't matter which way you do it, but I'm just saying, remember it when you put on your other pieces, okay? There's one done, bam. All right, and I'm just gonna go in and shift it all down to the very end so that I have room for the other two pieces. Oh yeah, and make sure that you're feeding it in 
and not twisting your elastic, okay? Because then you got to go in and you got to fix all that. So when you feed it through, make sure your elastic is straight and not twisted, turned, crooked, whatever you want to call it. Right and voila, it's all on there. Yeah, boy. Okay, now that we got all of our tutu on there, you can take this thing right on off here. Just slip up the white piece again, pop it right on off. Then you'll take the side. Just push, push, push. Okay, just push as much as you can. Okay. Hold that tight like your life depends on it. Because if that slips out of there, you're going to be mad. You're going to be mad because you have to pull it off and start all over. Not all of it off, but enough to get it. So then just go through, hold both pieces, just go through and make sure that your elastic is not twisted anywhere, okay? Make sure it's not twisted. Like right here, I was twisting it in my hand. Make sure that you got it like that. It's all on there fresh. Go ahead and double check and make sure that your ribbon is all facing the correct way. It's not backwards. We're good to go. Ah, and of course, I accidentally unthreaded my needle. Yay me. So I'm just gonna clip this together so that I do not lose my pieces and I'm gonna rethread my needle. My dang needle. And you're sewing your elastic together. You're going to change to your zigzag stitch. You want your zigzag stitch because you want, if you do a straight stitch, your pants aren't going to stretch. Pants. Your tutu's not going to stretch. So let's say the kid is a thickum like mine. It's going to be too tight around their waist. So you want to sew your elastic up with a zigzag stitch, okay? That way the kid has room to grow, stretch, do whatever they need to do. It won't be too tight around their waist and they won't be uncomfortable. So you probably can't see it because it's too floofy, but I'm just gonna go in here. My pieces are gonna be overlapped like this. Okay, they're gonna be overlapped. Overlap, I'd say overlap them about maybe an inch or half an inch depending on how big your elastic is and we're gonna go ahead and sew a zigzag stitch and then you back stitch I do mine maybe about seven times uh, it's, it's up to you personal preference and then you just clip your excess and see here probably can't see it because it's white but it's there and then this part I'm just gonna clip it be careful not to clip the wrong side I just don't want that extra elastic there for when I sew up the back some people glue the ribbon together I personally switch it back to a straight stitch Switch back to a straight stitch. Get your ends. You're gonna do this on the wrong side. So the side with the ribbon showing, or with the tool showing on the ribbon, you're gonna take your two ends. Your two ends like this, match them up like this. And I'm just gonna sew all the way up into just about a quarter of an inch from my elastic, okay? So I'm just gonna take it. Remember, ribbon and tool sides. Ribbon's kissing, okay? The right side's kissing, the wrong side's opposite. Or whatever you call that, okay? And with the straight stitch, I'm just gonna go from the edge. Make sure you back stitch. And matching up the tool together.
I'm just gonna sew all the way up to about a quarter inch from my elastic. Back stitch and trim. All right, and then with the extra, it kind of pokes off right here. If it's a lot, like where the where I sewed it, I'm just gonna trim that excess off. Okay, just trim it a little, as needed. If you don't need to. Don't do it. And just make sure you get all of your tails clipped off. Okay. And then I just go around and Distribute it evenly. Try to cover the um, elastic part up. Just kind of disperse it all evenly, okay? Around. That's pretty much it for the tutorial on tutus. Hopefully you learned something. If not, well, I didn't make no promises. I said I wasn't that good at this. I tried. Um, but let's go ahead and let this dry. Show it to you again. We'll let that dry. And then the box with my DTF transfers. So this is what we've all been waiting for. These are the DTF transfers that I got from Nita and Eric, or Nita Fajita and Ready Hustle. I'm super excited about this. I did open it a little bit because I wasn't, I can't wait, I couldn't. I just wanted to see, okay? I really, really, I don't think I want to print DTF myself. I'd rather have someone print them for me and then send them to me because honestly, that's a lot of work. I've been watching their videos and that's that's a lot of work. So kudos to them. But here we go. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. This one is definitely a shirt for me. So this is beautiful. I love this so much. Like no more weeding. Just print and press. Definitely, definitely. This one says small business owner, gold digger. Love, love, love. And then another one. Like, I can tell that the colors are going to be absolutely gorgeous. No more layering vinyl. Out with the old. Uh, ooh, I love this. So... This one says, this is my scary mom costume. I'm assuming that these are two different ones. Um, and this one says momster. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'll probably post pictures of it so that you guys can get a better, um, you can see it better because I'm not sure how it looks on camera right now. But I'm telling you, these are gorgeous. This one says, hey y'all, love, 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 love. And then, of course, a Christmas one. You can't not have Christmas. Christmas is my favorite season. Oh, my God. I'm definitely going to be ordering some of these because, honestly, I don't want to have to print vinyl. Like, do the printable, printable vinyl. And then, you know, to get this effect, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Nita and Eric. I love this. I'm definitely going to be ordering some. And I definitely have some popular prints that are in my shop that I don't want to weed anymore, so I'm gonna get them from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much if you guys have gotten to the end of this video. If you haven't, well, you know what? That's whatever. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.